Hi everybody. So I've got some repairs today. Start off with a nice easy one for a Monday morning. Well, Monday afternoon. It's a nice hot day in New York City. It's going to be a hot week this week. Uh, what am I starting with? I'm starting with a A1466 with no backlight. Nice easy one. So standard every day. Um, sometimes people complain that, that we didn't do any diagnosis, there was no troubleshooting and stuff like that on the stream. That's not what most of the day is. Most of the day is not troubleshooting. It, if you actually had to, like, fully troubleshoot out and test everything for every single board that comes in, I think you would go absolutely insane doing that for every single job. But here we just have a 1466 no backlight, and uh, I'll show you in a bit here. This is the fuse here, backlight area. Uh, some asshat um, soldered a wire over the fuse because the fuse was burnt. Oh, but these, these connectors. I want to make a note on these. We've been having more and more other shops, people at home, sending their machines to us because they've destroyed these antenna connectors. These are very standard. They're, they're not just in MacBooks. They're just about in everything. Cell phones have them. They're, they're, they're popular. Anything that has a transmission source, reception source. So they're, they're, they're just, um, I think they're, they, they're coaxial connectors. I think that's what you call them. Uh, little pop-ons, that's all they do is just pop straight down. And all you do is get your tweezer underneath uh, the metal. You can go as far as the wire, but I wouldn't touch the wire. Right underneath the metal and just straight up. And they come right off that easy. Too many of these have been ripped off lately. Other shops don't know how to do it. People don't know how to do it. I understand people not knowing how to do that, but another shop, doesn't matter what you work on, you've, you've seen these before. Okay, that's all the connectors. I don't have a magnet. I need a screw magnet. Does Lewis have magnets? Lewis doesn't have any magnets over here. Boo-hoo. One moment, please. Okay, I brought a couple magnets with me. This is the best way to not lose your screws. Put a magnet on the side of your screwdriver, and that's where the screws go as soon as you pull them off, right on the magnet. Hey, JP. Yeah, we've have been having a bunch of computers coming in from different shops that weird things are ripped off and screws are missing and screws in the wrong spots. It's, it's inexcusable, in my, in my opinion, that you're charging a customer and you're, you're the one breaking everything. Okay, so this is a 1466 2015 00165 board. We have no backlight, and through somebody's wonderful findings, we found out that uh, the fuse is blown. So they put a piece of wire over the fuse, and of course, as soon as you turn it on, it blew again. The little wire uh, just melted immediately. Well, yeah, the fuses don't usually blow for no reason. Sometimes they do. I, I have to give it that. Every once in a while, a fuse just goes because a fuse wants to go. Or maybe there was moisture in the system, so the fuse went. Now the moisture's dried out, so you're not really going to find the reason why the fuse went. But, yeah, th that's... Let's get that off of there. Some fume extraction. So with this one, I want to keep my hot air away from the Wi-Fi card and the connector. And I don't really want to overheat the LCD connector either. But this can up here, this can can take some heat. So I'm just aiming towards the can. I'm get this fuse out of here. And before I change that fuse, let's go look at the backlight driver. 
So the backlight driver is directly on the other side of the board. And that looks like it has some junk underneath that one side. So backlight drivers are easy, we get them new, they go all the time. Even if it just just a little bit of junk like that, let's get this thing off the board. That's, this is probably the reason. It could be the screen, but I'm taking this off anyway. So the backlight driver is something called the LP8550. This is very common in MacBooks. I think it's common among other things, too. It's a standard LED driver. Oh, yeah, there's some, uh, some schmutz under there. I'll clean up the schmutz. Some fresh solder. Get some Gootwick in here, clean up the pads. Want the pads pretty good and flat. Take a Q-tip, I'll clean up all of that nastiness. All that flux has uh, absorbed all of that. I'm gonna get that out of there so we make good clean solder joints. Pile of poop with a face. Poop emoji. No oh, thanks for the dollar. I guess you can't do emojis on this? And that's nice and clean. A little bit of flux. Grab a new backlight driver. Plop. Okay, I just know from experience that the pinout of this in the top right corner is pin number one. Let's put that right there. And it won't let go of my tweezers, of course. And just get some hot air on it. It's about in place. And we just heat it till it falls right into place. Is Lewis in the shop today? That's the wrong Lewis. There's no nobody here by that name. No, but I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's still up in Wisconsin, if he's on his way back. I have not heard. Okay, so that's a new driver. Let's put on a new fuse. That was my last fuse. I need to get more fuse. This one I'm just going to tack one leg on with a soldering iron. And then I'll come in and finish it off with some hot air. A little bit of flux. I did see the preview of Lewis's dog video. And yeah, I, I agree that uh, Mr. Clinton will probably take on any dog. Mr. Clinton's a tough little cat. A little bit of cleanup of this. A little bit more alcohol. There we go. 
it's nice and clean. Connector looks good. Doesn't look like there's any liquid damage. Some stickiness over here, not sure what that is. I think we just melted some MacBook food. The normal areas that liquid get on, the, that's the um, SMC reset chip. That looks good. This PP3V42, that looks good. The JTAG will let you live. Yeah, this board looks okay. So I guess it was just that little bit of schmutz under the, under the uh, backlight driver. That's all that was wrong. So, overhead. Lost the little rubber piece that goes on the end of the board. That board's still a little hot. Let's do some rapid cooling. Now that's cool. Okay, let's see if backlight's working. Right in this corner here, you gotta be careful when putting the board back in because of the antenna wires and the heat sink. The antenna wire came out all along. You gotta make sure it tucks back into its, uh, its little slot here, or else when you put the back case on, the back case contacts right here, it could squish the antenna wires. I don't need to connect everything. Let's just see if we got backlight. Do that. Let's do some power. And everybody wants to see green light, so let's connect that. The board will power without this, but you don't get any green light over here. So do we have some back lights? That's a dirty screen. We have some fan spin. Do we have a green light? I have an orange light. I have fan spin. And what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? I got chime. I got backlight. I got Apple logo. There you go. That's one repair done. That desperately needs to be cleaned. That screen is terrible. It'll look beautiful when we're done. So now, I have for you a treat especial.